style of boss babes and bosses of there. So this is the part two of the useful Canva features for social media managers. So if you are an aspiring or newbie social media manager, tapos kaka explore mo lang ng Canva, then I guess this video is really helpful for you. But before I'm going to dive in, I would like to let you know that meron tayong pag away na naman as part of our celebration sa 50k milestone natin. Thank you so much for subscribing. Meron akong surprise giveaway mamaya. After the tutorial, I really really hope that you would stick up until the end para makasali kayo sa giveaway natin. And for sure, I know na magugustuhan nyo talaga yung pag-giveaway natin. So, yeah. Just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to share with you is how to share design template to your client or maybe to your team. Or if you are selling a digital product, then this is a good way on how to share your original template na pwedeng i-copy lang nila. Hindi nila matatouch yung original design mo talaga. So, check this out. For the first thing that I'm going to share with you guys for this part 2 na video tutorial when it comes to Canva features for social media managers. So, for for example, ha, you are a social media manager sa isang client. Tapos, gusto ni client na before posting yung mga posts na ginagawa nyo or yung mga graphics, gusto niya ma-check muna. Especially ako, isa ako sa mga client na gusto ko munang ma-check everything before ma-publish. At least man lang mabasa ko at makita ko ko ano yung mapapublish sa page. So, ito yung ginagawa namin ni Cez. I want to share it with you guys. Baka makatulong sa inyo and mas mapadali yung process nyo. So, ang ginagawa namin ni says, siya talaga gumagawa ng graphics namin. That's what I have shared with you guys if you are watching our videos na. So, alam nyo na yan. And then, every time na meron akong gustong i-change, like for example, gumawa na siya, and then pag-check ko, meron akong gustong i-change konti. Little details lang, like maybe the text or the alignment, something like that, the layout. Ang ginagawa ko, hinihingi ko na yung editable na link kay Sess. Tapos, ako na mismo yung gagawa ng changes na gusto ko. Yung mga simple lang ha. Pero kung gusto ko na i-change talaga whole new cells, hindi na ako naghihingi ng editable file. At isasabihin ko na lang na ito yun lang yung gusto kong mangyari. So, if ever, again, kung small details lang, ako na lang yung mag-change para mas mapadali talaga yung process. So, paano namin yan ginagawa? For example, says is doing this one. Sineshare niya sa akin through this. Click lang tong share dito sa itaas. And then dito sa link share publicly. Anyone with the link lang, tapos can edit. Okay, so there are other things here then. Pwedeng anyone with a link, pero can comment lang. So, can view then. But I don't want to do that because I want na makaka-edit ako. I will not share it to anyone. So, gusto kong ganyan lang. And then, pwede na dito, only Canva Pro Team. So, if Cez will add sa Canva Pro Team niya, i-add niya ako, pwede niya tong ilagay. Or this one, only people added can access. Pwede i-add niya ako dito using my Canva email address. So, kung ano yung email na ginamit ko to create my Canva account, pwede ilagay dito ni Cez para ma-invite ako na makita or ma-edit ang graphics niya. So, if the setting is set to can edit, pwede kang maka-add comment at saka pwede kang maka-edit. Like, move around the text. Ayan. Pero, kung ang setting is can comment lang, basically, can comment lang yung magawa mo and hindi ka pwede maka-edit. And then, kung can view lang, Obviously, view lang pwede mong magawa. Hindi ka pwede maka-edit at hindi ka pwede maka-comment. Yan yung nangyayari. And what I like about this is that we can edit together at the same time. So, pwede ako mag-edit dito ngayon while Cez is doing edits dito sa page 6. So, as you can see, andito siya sa page 6, Cez Digital Studio, na makikita niya yung changes ko at the same time kung titignan ko din naman yung page 6 makikita ko din yung mga changes na ginawa niya pero as of now idol siya ako gumagawa ako ng recordings for this so makikita ko dito na ito siya you can click this one para automatic ipakita ni Canva kung ano yung nakaselect kay Cez. So, that's the easiest way on how you can work with your clients when it comes to the graphics. And another thing pa na always namin ginagamit ni Cez when it comes to Canva sharing content, kung isa kayo sa mga nanghihingi ng mga free or paid ng mga digital templates namin created here sa Canva, ang ginagawa namin dyan para hindi nyo ma-edit yung template namin is template 
template link. So, this one, this template, hindi akong gumawa nito. Kinuha ko lang dito sa mga template sa baba. For example, isi-share ko to sa inyo na template, pero I will make sure na if you are going to have a copy na the same this one, hindi nyo ma edit yung original file. So, just click share, and then, ito yung i-click mo, template link. And then, copy. So, if this link, i-access nyo to, like this one, mangyayari is that magkakaroon siya ng copy. Therefore, if you are going to click the use template, copy of Canva tutorial na siya. And, if ever meron kayong i-change, like this one, just quick sui, dito sa original template, refresh lang natin, just the same. Walang nangyari. Kasi, gumawa lang siya ng copy. Hindi siya nag-access talaga sa original graphics mo or original template mo. Ang ginawa niya, nag-create lang siya ng copy and then, whatever yung i-change niya dito, hindi mag-change yung original file mo. So, this is good if you are creating freebies or mga digital paid products for your clients or for your customers and then you want to share it to other people or to your customers. So, yung dalawang feature na yan, kung paano mag-share, yan yung always na ginagamit talaga namin ni Cez. So, I really hope na makatulong yan sa inyo kung paano nyo i-share yung content nyo sa client nyo or sa customers nyo if ever you are selling digital products as well. So, for the next thing that I'm going to share with you is that meron ng feature si Canva na pwede kang mag-present at the same time, I record mo yung screen mo. I'll let you see kung paano siya gawin. For example, this is our presentation, no? Kinuha ko lang din dito sa template. Hindi ako gumawa nito. This is just purely for the tutorial kung paano gamitin yung feature na yun. So, you just have to click this one here, present. And then, click mo yung type, standard, and dito ka sa percent and record. Pwede yan. Yan yan. And then, click mo lang yung next. Or pwede ka pumunta dito sa share. And then, percent and record. Ito naman. So, you can do this one as well. And then, click mo lang tong go to recording studio. Ayan. So, ipapa hi. <laughs> can you see me? So, ipapa set up niya lang dito kung ano yung gagamitin niya na camera. As of now, I'm currently using my Logitech HD 1080p. So, itong C922. And then, for the microphone, I'm just using my built in phone dito sa laptop ko. And then, just click start recording. And then, pwede ka nang mag-start na mag-present sa client mo. This is good, especially if gagawa ka ng analytics report for your client. And then, hindi siya maka-attend sa meeting nyo kasi maybe busy siya. You can just record yourself and then present it as if siya yung nagwa-watch nito. And you can just send this recording to him na lang. Para it's easier na maging in touch pa rin kayo. Na malaman niya pa rin kung saan na yung progress mo when it comes to the social media task na ginagawa mo para sa kanya. So, yeah, that's easy. And then, after that, you can just click end recording here. And then, mag-wait ka lang kasi magbibigay siya ng link na pwede yung send mo kay client. So, for this one, meron na tayong link. Pwede mo to siyang i-copy and ito yung ibigay mo kay client or you can just download it. Or, maybe you can save it na lang. So, I will just click save and exit. So, pwede mo siyang makita here. If you're going to copy the link, so, ito yung presentation na makikita ng client. So, hindi makita yung notes sa gilid. Maybe another design tip naman na si-share ko sa inyo is to use a smart mock-ups. Maybe you are asking, what is mock-up series? Sa simple definition lang ng mock-up, for me, mock-up, ito yung parang magigive sa'yo ng idea kung ano talaga yung magiging result ng design ng ginawa mo. Like for example, ha, you are designing yung print ng t-shirt. If the client asks, ano yung result niya, pag ilagay mo, na talaga siya sa t-shirt. So basically, you can do a mock-up for that. Just upload the design doon sa t-shirt mock-up and then makikita mo na kung ano talaga yung kalabasan sa t-shirt. Another example then is if you are doing a parang post sa isang client, for example, gumawa kaya ng puzzle feed for your client. If you don't know what is puzzle feed, you can check out this video here. Pwede nyo siyang gawa ng mock-up para makita niya na, ah, okay. So, for the puzzle feed, kung malagay na siya sa Instagram ko, ito pala yung kalabasan. And I will also give you more samples pa what is mock-up para mas maintindihan nyo talaga kung ano yung mock -up. Up, you can check out this video here. This is how you're going to create your own smart mockups. Ha? First, kung wala pa kayong nakita na apps for smart mockups, please click discover apps and then smart mockups. 
Then you can choose kung saan yung gusto niyo dito. You can use this design. You can use this design as well. It's just really up to you. Sa akin, nag-install na ako niyan. And ito siya. And then now, if meron na, you can go back here sa Canva and then just type mock-ups. And then, pwede niyo tong i-see all na lang para makita niyo lahat ng mga suggested mock-ups. If meron na kayong gusto talaga, like the category here, kung gusto niyo siya for Instagram post, you can click this one. And then, yung vibe na gusto niyo, gusto niyo ba ng parang minimalist lang, you can click this one. And then here sa theme, I like pink. And then here, kung meron kayong specific color talaga, especially if may specific color yung brand mo na wino work, so you can add new colors here, or kung meron na dito, you can also do that. So, ito yung mga sample mock-ups. Basically, you will just really have to drag and drop the photo na gusto mong ilagay sa mock-up. By the way pala, yung mock-ups, hindi lang siya para lang dito sa mga laptop, hindi lang para sa mga phone. Ang mock-up, rather than this one, ilagay nyo dito yung parang logo, dito mga logo, sa cup, sa bottle sa business card, yung mga ganun pwede siya sa lahat kasi as what I have said kanina, di ba yung mock up parang sample lang siya kung ano talaga yung kalalabasan ng design mo sa isang shirt sa isang cup, sa isang business card like this one, business card post, or anything so parang sample result lang siya pakita ko sa inyo kung gano'n siya kadali gawin like this one, meron kasi akong in-upload dito na screenshot, this is a sample lang. Gusto ko na ilagay dito instead is yung mga socials ko. Like this one for YouTube. Lagay ko lang siya. Drag and drop of course. Just drag this and then put it here. Drag and then just put it here. Ayun. So, ganyan yung mangyayari. Andito siya sa parang real phone frame. Tapos, ilalagay mo yung screenshot mo from your phone. Maganda to sa mga post mo. Actually, ito yung mga sample ng mga mock-ups namin. This one, this is a mock-up. This is a mock-up. Mock-up, 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 mock-up. Diba? This one nasa laptop, nasa para planner, then nasa phone. Ito, mock-up, of course. Mock-up. And then, yeah, that's that. Sam lang yung sa mga mock-ups sa amin. Like, if you are going to browse our Facebook page or Instagram, Bossa PH, ang daming mock-ups doon. So, you can get any idea kung paano namin ginagamit yung mock-ups sa mga posts namin. So, yeah. So next thing na mana is share ko sa inyo is that you can now import a PDF sa Canva and you can edit the text na. This is a nice feature na inad ni Canva. Kasi you know what ba? Isa yun sa problema ko before. Na mer is sa sa akin na ma PDF si client. Tapos kailangan kong i-edit yung contract, i-edit yung mga wordings or yung agreement. Mayro kong gusto ng exchange and all, but I cannot do that unless I'm going to use a PDF to Word converter. And when I do that, a problem lang is that hindi arrange. I have to rearrange pa everything, the words, the letters, yung mga text because, I don't know, maybe hindi ganoon ko okay yung converter nila. It's very hassle. Itong nalaman ko na meron na palang ganito si Canva. So, I really tried it and it really works. Hindi nagugulo yung mga text, which is yan yung naiinisan ko before. So, yeah, this is really a game changer. So, this is how you are going to upload a PDF file. If nasa Canva home talaga, meron merong upload dito sa gilid and then upload here sa top right. I'm not sure if you can hear that baby crying sa background, no? Pero, yeah, let's just proceed. And then, nag-download na ako ng SEO proposal. I did not read this one, so wag nila din design. Like, just for the sake of this tutorial, again, nag-download ako na kung anong pwede nating magamit para mapakita ko sa inyo yung sample. So, after uploading that one, as you can see, wala kayong makikita dito na na-upload, right? So, what you're going to do is you have to go here sa projects, and then, meron dito na sa recent. So, ito na yung in-upload natin na contract. If hindi nyo nakita dito sa recent, you can try to go here sa designs. Then, dito nyo makikita yung in-upload nyo na PDF. So, how you are going to edit this one? Just click it para ma-open siya. Magiging, ano na siya, editable. So, pwede na kayong mag-add ng text if you want. Ayan, pwede na kayong mag-delete kung ayaw nyo ito na agreement. Sample lang ha. Hindi ko talaga minasa to, swear. 
Then, pwede nyo ding i-change yung alignment if you want. This is pretty amazing talaga na dinagdag ni Canva sa feature niya. Kasi isang malaking problema talaga to before <laughs> kung paano mag-edit ng PDF. Kasi meron namang editor ng PDF online. But then, yung mga text, hindi organized. So, you have to organize it well again. So, yeah, this is really a game changer. And thank you, Canva, for doing this. You really made our lives so much easier. So, for the last two features that I'm going to share with you, this is for premium accounts na. The first one is using the transparent background. Pwede nang tanggalin ni Canva yung background sa image mo. That's a very, very nice feature. Kasi most sa mga features natin na inaad, kailangan na walang background. But sa tutorial na isi-share ko sa inyo, I think this is a great way then how to put e-signature para sa contract or sa anything na kailangan ng e-signature. This is very useful talaga. So before everything else, ang ginawa ko muna sa cotton band or bond paper, nag-signature ako doon and then pinicturean ko siya na very clear talaga yung pagka-picture ko. Hindi yung parang blurry. And then, in-upload ko siya sa Canva. And then after that, you'll know na what to do check out this video here. So, this is the next that I'm going to share with you guys how to put a sign sa isang contract. So, for example, we will just search na lang contract here. Contract. Ito na lang. Sample lang, no? Kung paano ka maglagay ng signature dito. Yan. Nag-upload na ako dito. As what I have said kanina, nag-signature lang talaga ako sa white paper and make sure ko na okay yung bold pen na gamit ko. Hindi siya nang tata eh. <laughs> and since nasa white paper ako. So, ganyan yung mangyayari. Especially if may color yung background. Pero if gawin natin tong white, this would be good naman. Pero, meron tayong solution dyan. If ever, hindi siya white color. Gamitin lang natin tong edit image, tapos remove background, and then that's it. This one. Pwede mo na siyang ilagay as your signature. Ayan. By the way, itong contract, huwag niya natong basahin kasi kinuha ko lang talaga ito na template. And then, yeah, that's that. Even though hindi ako si Kairi Petrakis, <laughs> ganyan yung signature niya. And this is also not my official signature, no? As you can see that one, BS sample sig. Meaning, sample signature lang siya. Just for the sake of this tutorial. So, ayan, meron ka nang ilagay na signature. In case, if you don't know how to do that. The last but not least, of course, no? Ang dami pang mga features ni Canva na very useful talaga sa social media managers. But this one, I think, is another game changer then. And ito yung content planner na lang. So, dito pwede kang mag-schedule and automatic na mapapublish na sa mga social media accounts mo or social media accounts ng clients mo. Ang Canva talaga is all-in-one talaga siya, especially for social media managers. Pwede ka na dito maggawa ng graphics. And at the same time, you can also schedule yung graphics Mo, you just have to make sure na nakakonect yung social media ha, na pagpapablishan mo. I already made a tutorial na for that, so you can check out this video here para mas makita nyo kung ano talaga yung kayang gawin ni Canva when it comes to scheduling your posts for your clients or maybe for your personal accounts. So those are the things that I can share with you now, but let me know if you want more Canva tutorials or tips, hacks, anything about Canva. Just let me know. For sure, I would really love to do that. Just comment it below. And again, if hindi nyo pa nakita yung part 1 ito, I highly recommend that you also watch that. For now, I'm going to share with you na kung ano yung giveaway na. Actually, this is the part 2 na sa giveaway kasi yung first giveaway natin is yung Lubito. Now, the second giveaway is the Canva Pro subscription for six months. I'm so, so happy talaga na Canva collaborated with me for this one. I'm sure talaga na happy kayo na merong pag-giveaway si Canva ng Canva Pro para sa inyo. Para matry nyo din yung mga chineer ko sa inyo na pang pro lang, di ba? And ang mechanics lang natin para makasali kayo sa giveaway natin is first, meron akong ilalagay na link sa baba. It's a Facebook group, Canva Freelancers. Mag-join kayo doon. And the second one, give the link yung ginamit nyo para 
para mag-join sa three friends mo or three family members mo. It's up to you para mag-join dun sa last. Yung mga friends niyo ha or family members niyo na you think magiging helpful sa kanila yung Canva. Kasi sa Canva group na yun, maraming nagsishare doon din ng mga tutorials when it comes to Canva. Gusto ko na mga quality members lang yung papasok. So, make sure na makaka-benefit dun sila sa mga content na ilalagay doon sa Canva Freelancers Group. And then, the third one is to comment below na I love Canva. That's it lang. So, yeah, there will be five winners for this. Lima kayo na mabibigyan ng Canva Pro subscription for six months. And I'm gonna announce the winners sa Facebook group natin, sa Facebook page natin, and then sa YT community. Then, magko-comment din kami sa baba kung sino yung mga nanalo. So, yeah, if you like this kind of video, and if you would like to share your output, your progress, you can join our Facebook group. Just type in, I'm ready to boss up my Brixui sa Facebook, and then you can also like our Facebook page, at Boss of PH. And don't forget to follow our Instagram accounts at Brixui and at Boss of PH. And yeah, hope to see you guys on my next one. Bye!